Yo, 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 what's good with it, y'all? It's your boy Lamborghini Prime back once again talking this boxing shit. And as always, make sure you stop by my official site, HustleGameBoss.com, and check out my all new album, It's My Turn, The Throne Ascension LP. It's a motherfucking classic all the way around, you know what I'm saying? If you appreciate G shit, you appreciate real nigga shit, not that, you know, funny color hair, you know, super tight pants wearing shit, you know, that real nigga g shit you're gonna really appreciate that and it's also available on apple music itunes spotify amazon music uh google play pandora title big shout out to title it's even available on youtube so the next time you enjoying your outlet of choice just make sure you type into the search engine the supreme general and i shall appear you know what i'm saying that's anywhere music is found i'm gonna pop up on you <laughs> just search for me baby you're gonna find me also if um don't forget to check out my official supreme general merchandise over at hustlegameboss.com forward slash shop you can get um anything from t-shirts to hoodies, hats, you know what I mean? All my official shit, all my official merchandise, you know what I'm saying? It's all dope, the phone covers, even the onesies for your baby, you know? We got drawstrings for the students and phone covers for the ladies, you know? Fuck me one time. Also, and if you cop something, be sure to post a pic of you either wearing whatever you cop or if you, you know, got my album or whatever, you bumping it, show me a, send me a screenshot of it playing on your phone, you know what I mean? Tag me on Instagram at Hustle Game Boss or on, ty- uh, excuse me, Twitter at Hustle Game Boss as well. Or you can search me on Facebook, The Supreme General, and you will find me. Thanks. Now, with that being said... Well, I like to say that because I like to show love to anybody who shows love to me, man. That's really important to me. So shout out to you if you fuck me heavy, you know what I mean? But um, with that being said, I'm on to the video. This one is my personal thoughts on my man, my main man, Kel Brook. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? After witnessing his public workout before the uh, Rapchenko fight. Now, I thought that... uh, Based on a couple of the interviews that I heard earlier in the month or so, or maybe uh, last month, where he was giving interviews explaining, you know, uh, how he was feeling since the Spence loss and everything. And uh, I wasn't too pleased with what I heard from Kell Brook. I felt like um, he had lost a little bit of confidence due to the injuries. And, you know, that sucks, man. That really, really sucks, man. But I feel like I felt like even listening to those interviews that uh his confidence wasn't something that was gone forever it was definitely something he could regain as soon as he realized that he wasn't as susceptible to injury as he may believe that he is so with that in mind i was watching the public workout expecting to see you know kell brook just going through the motions and you know bullshit but what i saw was a, a quicker um more explosive stronger and faster Kell Brook. I was thoroughly impressed, man. Them body shots he was delivering to his trainer, man, with the body shield on. <laughs> I was thinking his ass. That boy Dominic Ingle did not look comfortable in that motherfucking body shield, man. <laughs> he wasn't around for it. You know, he took a couple of them shits and that was it. <laughs> it's the kind of shit I like to see, man. I really like what I saw from Kell Brook in this workout, though, man. He was in great shape, as all. He's always in great shape, man. They do a good job when they uh, put him together out in Fort Ventura, like uh, like they did for the Spence fight. But I just feel like it was taking too much out of him at 147, man. You can almost see it, man. You can just see it in the workout. If you look at the workout before the Spence fight, and then look at the workout for this fight, man. Kell Brooks, he looks a lot better, man. A lot better. A lot better. You know, moving his head. Dropping them shots, you know. I seen the speed, the speed on display for the first time. You know, usually they don't put the speed on display from Kell Brook like that, man. That was good to see, man. So, um, in a nutshell, with this, what witnessing this public workout has done is uh really, really um increased my confidence as to. Uh, the plan that I outlined in one of my previous videos for Kell Brook as far as his career goes. And that's to see him fight Rabchenko, get his confidence back, then fight one of the champions at 154, 
probably Saddam Ali, win the strap off him, get the big money fight with uh, Amir Khan, and then fight my man Errol Spence Jr., <laughs> you know, before he clocks out, before he retires, you know what I mean? Because I believe E. Spence only maybe got another year or so. Like, by the middle of 2019, I believe E. Spence might be too big for 147. He'd have to probably, he'd probably grow out of 147, end up at 154. You know what I mean? So, uh, I really like what I saw from Kell Brook, man. Really, really like what I saw, man. It was good to see him confident. You know, good to see him in there looking sharp. Good to see him in there not just going through the motions, even though this isn't, you know, the type of opponent that, you know, strikes fear in everybody's heart, you know. But this is a make or break fight for Kel, so it's just really good to see that, man. So I just wanted to send a take a moment to salute him, salute my man Dominic Engel, and just, you know, I'm looking forward to how this shit come out, man. Really looking forward to, to uh how this year unfolds for uh Kel Brook and and Amir Khan too, man. I'm actually very, very excited to see how he looks in his return bout, you know, because um, we don't really, I mean, we know what happened to Kel Brook, but we don't really know what happened to uh, Khan after that knockout, man, you know, we don't know what he was doing, whether he was training, whether he was, you know, just lamping, you know, whether he let himself go, get out of shape, like, we don't know what's going on with Khan, so I'm really looking forward to see what he do too, you know what I mean, see how this shit get put together at the end of the year. Hopefully, it could be a mega fight. Hopefully, Khan could uh, come up on the title, too. You know, either at 147 or 154. I believe Khan is good enough to um, maybe take a fight with Lara and not get knocked out and possibly outpoint him. You know what I'm saying? On 147, this is a tougher road to hoe. You know what I mean? It's a little, little rougher to go down that 147 road, you know, because you got Thurman, you know, and that's... He's going to land and eventually knock out Khan, so that wouldn't be an intelligent fight in my opinion because Thurman is not only just a power puncher, he also can box very soundly and lure Amir Khan into traps and shit. It's just not a good look for him. So, but And then E. Spence, I don't even got to say nothing about that, man. He can't fuck Amir Khan, but stay the fuck away from Errol Spence Jr. And the only other guy is Jeff Horn, and I do believe that the Jeff Horn got the WBO, a.k.a. top rank belt. So, I don't really see that fight happening, you know what I mean? The only way I see that fight happening, of course, is if they give my man Bob, the Bob father, if they give him some options on Khan. And I don't really see that happening, you know, because it's not necessary, you know. Khan could do what he need to do and get that same uh, critical acclaim and praise elsewhere or get a title going down another road that's a little easier than that because Jeff Horn ain't no gimme either. You know what I'm saying? He is a big, big boy for 147. You might fuck around, stretch Khan even easier than Thurman just because he's being underestimated. You know, that's how shit goes sometimes. But yeah, man, I just wanted to say, man, my man Kel Brook looked sharp at this motherfucking open workout, and I'm expecting him to put in that work versus Rapchenko. All right, y'all, I'm out of here. I'm on to the next one. Holla at me. 100.